going over how to shoot the basketball off of the hop. The key with the hop, I've done a lot of videos on the one two. So if you know the one two, first off, let's get into the basics of shooting. There are pretty much two ways you can get into your shot in real games. You can do the one two, or you can do the hop. Both have their positives and their negatives. Um, I do like the one two, but I also love the hop. If you want to be a great shooter, you have to be able to shoot off of both because um, each one calls for different situations. Sometimes you might be coming off a pick like this. Sometimes you might just be coming straight off the hop. Being able to shoot off both of them is extremely effective. That's why today I want to talk about the hop. So what do I like about the hop? The things that I love about the hop is that it gives you a quicker release because it's not hard to see which is quicker, this or this. It's much, it's a split second faster to get that release, to get that shot off. If you watch Stephen Curry, um, he shoots off of the hop a lot. Clay Thompson does as well. They both do a great job of whether it's coming off of picks, whether it's catching and going straight into their shot. It's a great way to speed up your release even when you dip the basketball. So I posted a video on Instagram a few days ago showing you know, how you can still have a quick release with the dip. And it's true, especially when you use the hop. The reason we like to teach the dip is because it allows players to have the same momentum, same rhythm with every shot. So for every shot you catch, and you dip here, you can easily simulate that same shot every time. No matter where you, the ball is, you bring it to this dip position, it's that same rhythm every time. And shooting is all about rhythm. If you don't dip the basketball, which it is all about preference. Some players don't dip and they still shoot very well. Now, if you don't dip, the one problem is you don't always get the same shot because you can catch the ball here and you go here, you can catch it here and you go here. So it's not as, um, repetitive as doing the dip. It's not as smooth as doing the dip. Another reason I love the dip is because it gives you more range. It gives you the ability to use your hips more. A lot of players that don't dip end up short, especially late in games. But when you do dip the basketball, you get more range, you get more breaking your hips, more power on your shot. So a lot of players ask how can they improve their range by adding a simple dip. So how do you do all of that with the hop? As soon as you hop, you bring that ball down in the hop and everything is up at once. No matter where the ball is at, I could catch the ball here, I could catch the ball here, and I can still simulate that same exact release, and that same exact catch and release every single time. Now, a lot of mistakes players make with the hop is one mistake is they catch, they load up. Now, when I say dip, that doesn't mean dip your whole body. That means dip the ball. You should already be in a low position when you get in that um, shot ready position. You shouldn't be catching in the hop like this, then having to dip down. You should be hips loaded, everything ready. Soon as you catch, it's here into your shot. So you shouldn't be standing straight up, dipping like that. You shouldn't be, even if you're in the ready position, you shouldn't be dipping like that. With the hop, it's a quick movement. It's here into your shot. So you can practice with no ball first. Just practice that. That's all it is. Whether I'm coming off here, coming off here, but it's, it, as you can see, it's quicker than. So that's how you can practice and get comfortable 